In tonight's health alert, high blood pressure isn't just a concern for adults. New statistics show it's a problem for kids and it's growing over the past 13 years. The major culprit, salty snacks. CBS 19's Jamie Garrick takes a look at the trend and some better food choices. Snack time is a normal part of Daisha Edmondson's day. Must. As soon as we get out of the car, they're screaming, what can I have? Something to eat, please, mom. With two boys ages six and eight, the mom admits there's the occasional fast food stop after school. Mothers joke often that it's in, we're in survival mode, and sometimes the Happy Meal absolutely is part of it. But her family is trying to phase that out as much as possible, springing for yogurt or baked crackers instead. Fast food meals can really give you your daily allowance of sodium in one meal. It's crazy. New research published in the journal Hypertension shows 19% of boys and 13% of girls have high blood pressure. That's a 27% jump over the previous 13 years. Researchers from Harvard blame salty snacks. And I hear that a lot from parents that my kid, look, it, they just don't like the veggies. They don't like the fruits that I'm trying to give them. Well, taste buds change, so keep reintroducing them into their diet. Edmondson is leading by example. If they can create those healthy habits now, they'll have them later on down the road when they're adults, when those things are truly going to affect them. The average recommended sodium intake for kids is 2,000 to 3,000 milligrams a day, an amount experts say you could cut by eliminating one trip through a drive through Jamie Garrett, KYTX, CBS 19 News. High blood pressure is linked to heart attacks, strokes, and diabetes. Parents, if you're looking for some great snack ideas, we've posted a list on our website, things like mini pizzas and peanut butter smoothies. Head to CBS19.tv, click on the hot button, and search under Tuesday.